Let's get it, start us off right, Husky. 10 punches on the back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten! Yeah! Inside a gym in North Park, there's a boxing class that seems pretty typical. Except for one thing, everyone here is fighting Parkinson's disease. The neurological disorder progressively deteriorates motor skills, balance, and speech. Some symptoms can be eased for a short while with medication, but there is currently no cure. We all fighting the same battle and all wishing the best for the other person, you know. So these 20 Parkinson's fighters, including Sue Rohde, who was diagnosed with the life-altering disorder 15 years ago, Chicken wing. <laughs> taking matters into their own hands. This keeps you going and keeps you energetic and uh, uh, muscle control and balance. Several times a week, they wrap their hands in cloth or put on gloves and push themselves during a 90-minute non-contact boxing workout. Let's get it! Jab! Jab! Jab. Straight! It's tailored to help people with Parkinson's combat their symptoms. Research shows high-intensity exercise like boxing slows the disease's progression. When I yell cone, you try to grab the cone before your opponent. I've seen people walk in here hardly able to walk. And within a couple of weeks, they're boxing, they're moving around. It's just, it's amazing. It really is. We've missed you. John Pistachi was diagnosed three years ago, but started noticing tremors in his hand long before that. I really feel like it slowed down the progression to a point where after two years, I don't think I've seen that much change in my ability. Six. Ron Locke, a Navy veteran and retired Seven. airline pilot, Eight. has had the disease for 11 years. Nine. And it gives me uh, more energy. It's, it's uh, just overall well-being. The class is part of a national program called Rock Steady Boxing. I do not take for granted working with all of you. You guys work really hard. Okay? It's run by Mike Reeder, who owns the gym. When you start noticing Parkinson's, the movements get really small. The steps are small. You might be hunched over. Um, but with boxing, you kind of don't have a choice. You put on these big boxing gloves. You feel big and strong. He's given everyone a fighter nickname. Can do Sue, Rocket. Captain KO, Iron Mike, Husky, The Beast. When they come to the gym, they're a Parkinson's fighter. They're not just a person with Parkinson's. While these Parkinson's fighters are working up a sweat, researchers in La Jolla are working on a cure. It's reasonable hope right now. Um, we don't know how long it will take for us to be able to expand this to a larger group of patients. Jean Loring is a professor at the Scripps Research Institute. She's preparing to launch a clinical trial on 10 Parkinson's patients. It involves transplanting healthy brain cells to replace the cells killed off by the disease. Even in a culture dish, they want to connect with each other. Parkinson's destroys brain cells that make a substance called dopamine. Dopamine allows nerve cells to communicate with muscles. So what we propose to do is to replace those neurons in the brain uh, with their, the people's own dopamine neurons. And uh, we make those neurons by taking a little bit of their skin. So inside here we've got little vials of millions of different stem cells and neurons. The skin cells are grown in a lab and reprogrammed in a month's time into a master cell called a pluripotent stem cell. These cells can make every cell type in the body, including nerve cells. Loring says the process has taken five years to perfect. The transplant has been successfully tested in rats. Now comes the year-long FDA approval process set to begin this fall. I can't say the word cure. I'm not going to say the word cure until I actually see the results from our, our patients and our, their studies. It'll be like they had functioning dopamine neurons in their brain like they did before their neurons started dying. And so we expect people to have a full recovery um, starting at about a year and then onward get better and better. If all goes well during the first trial, she hopes to expand the treatment to a larger number of patients soon after. Multiple sites, so we should be able to move fairly quickly. When I say quickly, I mean not 10 years, not five years, probably less than that. She says the same therapy could also work for multiple sclerosis, ALS, and Alzheimer's. Jab, jab, straight, hook, straight, roll, straight. In the meantime, BoxFit Gym in North Park is providing a safe haven for people battling Parkinson's to keep their disease in check and their spirits high. Straight! Smiling assassin. Good work. <laughs> Parkinson's is a difficult disease for a lot of people, but if they would fight it early, if they would get exercising and join the 
a group like this. It's, it's so helpful. Big exhale. Excellent fight today. Great job today. Together, they're determined to keep fighting until the disease is knocked out. Rock steady! Give each other love. Excellent, excellent work today. Susan Murphy, KPBS News. Looking good, man.